Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello. A little bit tired, but I'm here. A little bit tired, right? Yes, I think that everybody is kind of tired right now. But we are going to uh, take it easy, right? Right now, we are just going to practice a little bit uh, of English. And um, also, I have to explain things that probably you already know. So I think that it's going to be easy. So thank you for being here. Eliu, Ana, uh, Jose, Isaias. Let's see who else is here. Okay, the rest is a connection right now. Noel, thank you for being here. So uh, actually, as uh, I already told you, today we are going to cover section two, um, today and tomorrow and also on, on Thursday. And remember that next Monday, we are not going to have classes, right? So probably next Friday, uh, May 5th, we are going to have classes uh, to to have the class uh, um, uh, from Monday. So yesterday we were uh, also checking the information of section two in the platform. I don't know if you have any question about that and you know, if you have a, if you have had any, any problem. Preguntas de la sección dos or the, the, the exam right there. Solo la, solo la que estaba para consulta del, de la plataforma. Ajá. Pero había una que no nos daba la, no sé si es la 1.2, algo, algo sobre, sobre, que aparecía algo que no, que no nos daba a, a todos, bueno, la mayoría. Yes, exactly. Actually, I already reported that. I already sent the, the screenshot and also I sent the, the information and probably they will try to fix it but i will send it again if you want to just in case right i will send it tomorrow okay. just to check if they have fixed that information in section one but okay. uh, you haven't had any problems in section two right no no problems okay no. perfect so what we are going to do right now is just to cover this information like for example um the present perfect and the simple past that's what we are going to practice today have you practiced that before uh do you know something about the present perfect simple past how to combine it have you done that before or do you have any questions or is this the first time that you are going to study this i have done that before yeah, yeah okay perfect Okay, so I think that we are just going to review a little bit of that. Okay, so this will be our objective at the end of this class. Participants will practice using the present perfect and the simple past. This is information that you already have in the platform, right? The present perfect versus simple past. It says the use the present perfect to report a recent event without giving a specific time reference. So present perfect will report something that without specific time, no time, right? For example, the trainer has saved all the paintings. It doesn't say the time, right? It doesn't say when, if it was yesterday, a year ago, and no information about the time. And simple pass, we use it to report an event with a specific time reference. After a day at the mall, the woman went out to her car but couldn't find her keys. I started teaching her to paint last year. So in this case, as you can see, after a day, right? That is the time reference. Um, last year, right? I started teaching her to paint last year, right? So that is another time reference. So normally in simple past, we use time references. And present perfect is not needed. We can use some time references, but not like that specific. But we are going to study that right now. For example, uh, we use the pre present perfect to report a recent event without a specific timeline reference, uh, repeated actions in the past with no time reference and actions or situations that began in the past and continue until now. For example, I have studied English for many years. 
I have studied English for many years. This is an action that it was uh, being repeated. And also it doesn't, it doesn't show like any specific time reference, right? It doesn't say if it was in 2020 or when I was a child. I only say that is did uh, that it happened for many years. And we have more information here. Simple past to describe an event that happened at a specific time in the past. I studied English 20 years ago. Oh, okay, 20 years ago. So that is really specific. I studied English 20 years ago. So 20 years ago was 2003, right? So you see, I can see that you studied English or you started like uh, you studied English uh, in 2003. That is another way to say it. We have a lot of rules, but actually uh, it's the same that I have been telling you right now. Uh, so we are going to read a little bit because I don't want to be speaking all the time. Let's see, Ana Maria, can you read the the first uh, sentences like from present perfect and the white table? Okay, perfect. Uh, present perfect, have, has, plus past participle, worked, seen, etc. Past experiences, I've been, to Miami, but I haven't been to Tampa. Have you ever lost your credit card? Sally has never met Bill's ex-wife. Okay, and two with yet and already. For emphasize, I've already seen this movie twice. Can we watch another one? My brother hasn't found a job yet. He's still looking. Have you finished your homework yet? No, not yet. Very good. Thank you very much, Ana Maria. So as you can see, we use the present perfect. We are going to study the present perfect first with past experiences, right? We have to be careful with past participles, right? And have and has, right? depending on the uh, pronoun. And past participles, we have to study that. If we have problems with that, probably we are going to have problems using the present, uh, the present perfect. And yet and already. Already is, what is the meaning of already for emphasis in, in, in Spanish? ¿Qué significa? What, what is the meaning of already? Como acabo de. For example, I've already seen this movie twice. Ya vi esta película. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, exactly. I've 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 already seen this movie twice, right? So I have already done it. Ya lo he hecho. So here's a question. Mm -hmm. So we can just use already with a uh, present perfect, or can we use with simple past? For example, I already sent you this email, or I need to use the present perfect only. Normally, I I've seen it with the present perfect. I've I've already sent to you. So if you if you tell me I've already sent to you, I understand that is I have already sent to you, right? Um, I have exactly. But it, probably you you notice this in conver you notice in conversations this because um, the pronunciation right the the I have is contracted. So I've I've already sent it. I've already sent it. So oh. Probably it sounds like it is the past, but it's the, the present perfect. But yeah, it, it, that is the meaning. Yeah, right. I've already I've already done this. I already sent it to you. Just te lo envié, right? Just te lo enviado. So yes, we can use it in that way. Also for emphasis is yet. What is the meaning of yet in Spanish? Todavía. Todavía, exactly. Or aún, right? And normally we can use it in negative statements and questions, right? Like for example, my brother hasn't found a job, a job yet, right? So hasn't, right? Negative. My brother hasn't found a job yet. He's still looking, right? So he will find it, but he's still looking for a job. Have you finished your homework yet? No, not yet. So Aún, todavía no has terminado tu tarea? No, todavía no, right? Have you finished your homework yet? No, not yet. So that's the way 
we can use uh, these words in present perfect. Um, and also uh, for simple past, we are going to, to check the simple past. And uh, let's see. It says, uh, I'm going to read the, the two rules below, and then we are going to read the simple past. It's there, is there a difference between yet and still? Still, I still, I still have it. I think that the main difference is that still can be used in affirmative sentences and negative sentences, and yet only or mostly, right? Because sometimes we have exceptions. So I don't, I didn't use always, right? So I use mostly, right? Mostly in uh, questions and negative sentences, right? So that, that would be the, the main difference, I guess. But still, uh, it is similar. The, I think they're synonyms, right? But it's the usage, the difference. Very good, very good question. Uh, we use the present perfect for past experiences when we don't say exactly when they happen. So it's emphasizing again that we don't have, we, we don't need to say the exact time, right? So we often use ever or never when we ask or talk about past experiences, they go before the main verb. And it says in American English, we use the present perfect and simple past with yet and already. So as you can see over there, you have your answer, right? Um, mostly I have seen it with present perfect, but it says that you can use it also with simple past yet and already. And also let's see, uh, already is used, as I already told you in affirmative sentences and it's before the main verb and yet it's used with negative and questions, right? And it goes at the end of the phrase. So very good. That, that will be the, the, the difference with still. Now we are going to read the simple pass. Let's see a volunteer to read simple pass and this what table and example. Alguien que me ayude a leer aquí, por favor. I, Tell you. me. Okay, me, yeah. exactly. So read the simple pass, please. Okay. Simple pass, work up, stop it, went, had, how do you say, etc. and so forth. Etc. Mm -hmm. They got married last year. What time did you wake up this morning? I didn't have time to do my homework. Use the simple pass for finished past actions. When we say as or no when they happened. Present Very perfect. Good. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Leo. Thank you. Very good, Elio. So simple past, right? Uh, remember, worked, stopped, when, had, right? So what is the difference between present perfect and the simple past when we combine it? What is the difference? Maybe simple past is in a specific time mm -hmm. and present perfect, well. There's yes. no, there's no specific. specific any time mm -hmm. exactly mm -hmm. very good so we use simple past for a specific a specific time right um sometimes when we say things right um like an experience uh we we start talking about this experience in general right with no details so uh, we start using the present perfect. So that's how we combine the present perfect and the simple past. And then once we have started the, this story, let's say, we can use the simple past, right? We can provide more details. We can provide time references. So that's how we combine the present perfect and the simple past. So it says present perfect or simple past. So I've been to Miami twice. So I've been to Miami twice, right? We don't know when. And then I can provide the information. I, I went there in 1998 and 2002. So we have two specific occasions, you see? So we can start talking or we can start using the present perfect like, I've done this, I've been there, I have watched this, I have, I don't know, I have visited this place, right? And then 
um, after that, we can provide more details. So with more details, we use the simple pass. And at the end, it says, use the simple pass, not the present perfect, to ask or talk about finished actions in the past when the time is mentioned or understood. We often use past time expressions like yesterday, last week, etc. right? So we use the simple past. Uh, questions about this? Preguntas? It's really easy, right? So we just need to practice and we need to know when to use it actually. So let's see. Have, have, yes, go ahead, Elio. In both cases, in the present perfect and the simple past, we use the verb in past, past, in passive, passive. In passive? In passive. Mm -hmm. Or in past participle? Always. In past participle, I mean, yes, in past participle. Uh, present it, perfect. It, it, Yes, in present perfect, we use the past participle of the verb. For example, I have seen this movie, right? I have seen this movie. Or a simple past, I saw this movie, right? We use the past. I saw this movie. Yeah, yeah the past. Mm -hmm. So I saw this movie yesterday. And so yesterday we used the simple past. But press uh, past participles with present perfect, I've seen, right? I've seen. Okay. Okay, Very good. Thanks. Very good. Perfect. No problem. We have this exercise here. It says complete the mini dialogues with present perfect form of the verb in parentheses and an adverb from the list. You can use the adverbs more than once. So we have this exercise. It says already, ever, never, yet, right? Ever. Normally we use it with. Um, with present perfect, right, with questions. So we are going to do this right now. For example, right, have you ever won the lottery or played the lottery? Yes, it's actually, I'm smiling and I won $50, right? That is an example. But we are going to do the, the number one, okay? Number one, you, a flight, online, book. Yes, of course. I've done it many times. What is the question? Can anybody tell me? Have you ever booked a flight online? Exactly, very good. Have you ever booked a flight online? Booked a flight, what is the meaning of booked a flight? Like schedule, right? Exactly, booked a flight. So have you ever booked a flight online? Yes, of course, I've done it many times. So that's something that I have never done. Uh, actually, I don't know how to do it. I don't know if, if it is better to, to do it by yourself or go to uh, uh, a company, right? Uh, but I, I, yeah, I, I've never done that. It's kind of complicated for me. But anyway, number two, when are you going to buy a motorcycle? Soon. I save almost a thousand dollars what is the response for this one i save save almost one thousand dollars yeah the past, can, save. save the past saved okay yeah it can be possible i saved almost a thousand dollars or i have saved right because you know it's not saying when right it can oh, be yes. possible very good Number three, pay, right? You, the electricity bill. No, sorry, I forgot. What is the response for that? Maybe have you paid uh, the electricity bill yet? Or... Very good, yes. Yeah, or, or which, what, what is the other option? No, I remember we used yet with negative and, and question. So exactly. have you already? Have you already? Yeah, have, have you already? Have you uh -huh, have you already? Can be possible, Maybe. but it's better with yet, right? Because we use yet as Anna said, uh with questions and negative, right? Have you paid the electricity bill yet? No, sorry, I forgot, right? Very good, perfect. Number four. 
your parents, you money, lend. Yes, but I paid it back as soon as I could. Have you lent, lent, lent with me, your parents, uh, money? Uh, have you lent? Have your parents, uh huh. Uh, have your parents lent, lent you money? Yeah, it can be possible. Have your parents lent you money? Or have your parents ever lent you money, right? Very good. Perfect. No. Oh, it says yes, but I paid it back as soon as I could. Number five. How does eBay work? I don't know. I... I have ever, I have never used it. Very good. I have never used it. Very good. Number six, B. It says you to Thailand. No, I haven't, but I like to someday. What would be the, the, the question? Have you ever been? Have you ever been, exactly. Have you ever been to Thailand? Exactly, perfect. Seven, why don't you have any money? Spend, right? I, my salary, I bought a new tablet last week. What would be the answer? I have... I spent with the my salary. Uh huh. Can I use already also, Elu, in that sentence? Yes, I yes. have spent my salary already. I have. Oh, spent... I have already. Uh huh. I, I have, have already a... spent my salary. Right. I have already spent my salary. I bought a new tablet last week. Very good. And the last one. Do you like Hugh Jackman? Yes, I, his new movie twice. What is the response? I have seen. Have seen, very good. I have seen his new movie twice or I've seen his new movie twice. Exactly. Very good. So I think that I have I have the the answers here. I have already, as you can see, is have ever booked, I've already saved, paid, did pay yet, have ever lent, never used, ever been, already spent, and have already seen. So we can practice with that, right? We can practice with that um, in your free time. If you have free time, I will. I don't know if I if I share the previous. Um, uh, slides, the, the previous presentation. Did I share it already? Do you know, do you have it in the WhatsApp group? Mm. You shared one, but I'm not sure. You know, okay, I will try to share it again. I will try to share it again uh, today and I will share this at the end of this week. Okay, but no problem. Very good. Okay, it says right or wrong. Write a check or an X next to the sentences. Correct the wrong sentences. We are going to check this one like this. Okay, this will be the answers, right? Because I it will be better like that, I guess. So uh, it says, for example, I've never been in debt. Is it correct? Yes, right, correct. So we don't change it. It says, how much has your new camera cost? Is it correct? No, right? How much did your new camera cost, right? How much did? So in that would be the past. So you tell me if you think it is correct or if you think that it is incorrect. If it is incorrect, we will change it. Number one, Dean, inherited five thousand dollars from a relative is that correct number one 
Dean inherited $5,000 from a relative. Well, me, uh, maybe Miss has inherited. Dean has inherited. Mm -hmm. I okay. Didn't. Okay, can be possible, yes. We're going to check the response in a moment, okay? No problem. So we are going to write here from a relative. Number two. Did your sister pay your back? Did you did your sister pay you back yet? Is that correct? Uh, incorrect. I think that has has your sister paid the paid your back yet? Okay, paid you back yet. Very good. Number three. We booked our vacation online a month ago. Is that correct? We booked our vacation online a month ago. Yeah. I think it's correct. Correct. Okay, very good. Correct. No need to change it. Or when have you bought the le that leather jacket? When have you bought that leather jacket? Is it correct? Maybe it can be, when did you buy? It can be possible, yes. You buy that leather jacket. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, very good. Five, they've finished paying back the loan last month. <clears throat> Is incorrect or correct? They finished paying back the loan last month. If you don't understand, tell me, right? Ask me if you don't understand something. I think that it's, it's incorrect. It must oh. say mm -hmm. they paid, paid back the lo loan last month. They paid. Pay back the loan last month. Okay, very good. So it would be simple pass, right? Very good. Yes. Six. We haven't paid the gas bill yet. Correct or incorrect? We haven't paid the gas bill yet. Correct. 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 Okay, very good. Let's see. Seven. Have you ever wasted a lot of money on something? Correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 Okay, let's see. Eight. I'm sure I haven't borrowed any money from you last week? It's incorrect. Incorrect, what is the correct way? I'm sure I haven't, I... Or I didn't borrow? I, I, didn't. I didn't, yes, I didn't borrow. Borrow? Any money any, from any you Any money week? from you last yes. Okay. Very good, perfect. Nine, I spent my salary really quickly last month. I have spent. I have spent, so it's incorrect. I have spent. I think it's correct. You think it's correct, Anna? Okay. So what do you think of you? Do, do we change it or do we leave it like that? It's because there is not a specific time in the in the past last month is a undefinite uh, last month oh no of course last month is, is a specific time it's correct it's correct okay correct. yes okay very good very good 
And the last one, have you seen the Batman movie on TV yesterday? Did you see? Did you see? Yeah. Okay. Okay, very good. Movie, right? On TV. Yesterday. Very good. So we are going to check right now the, the answers, right? Just to check if it is correct or incorrect. So only uh, one, two, three, four. Correct. Let's see. So number one, according to this, is correct, right? Number one. Dean inherited 5,000 from a relative. It's okay, right? Uh, actually, we can use both, I guess. Dean has inherited. I can use both. Uh, I, will, I will accept both. Number two is correct has uh, did your sister pay you back yet so yet we can use it with a uh, simple pass if we read here yet and also with present perfect so it can be both so in my opinion it can be both right don't worry about that let's say that you did a good job and three correct right so it's correct as you said four incorrect when did you buy that leather jacket? Exactly, very good. When did you buy it, right? When have you bought it? No, right, because it's something immediate, probably something that is happening right now. So when did you buy it? Probably something happened that, that, that happened recently. Um, number five, it's incorrect. They finished paying back the loan last month. As you said, last month is specific time. Six is correct. Seven is correct. Eight is incorrect. I am sure I didn't borrow any money from you last week, right? Correct, because we are mentioning last week. Nine, correct. And 10, did you see the Batman movie on TV yesterday? Correct, because we mentioned yesterday, right? Very good. You see, it's uh, kind of easy when you know like the rules, right? About um, last month or... If something is still uh, it, or happened recently, right? So that's good. Let's see what else we have. Um, we have also uh, more people. I think I thought that you were the only ones to hear Anna and you, but now we have a lot of people. Okay, let's see if we can participate with uh, this because this is just the grammar. We are going probably we are going to practice tomorrow. Um, actually, this is the same, so probably we are going to review this tomorrow, right? And this one is also, yes, you can do it tomorrow. We are going to practice the conversation. Uh, and at the end of the class, we are going to practice the pronunciation of this reading, okay? I need you to, uh, to participate, everyone. But you're doing a great job. Let's see. Now we have this conversation, right? It says present perfect and simple past. We are going to read the conversation. What are they arguing about? Um, we are going to complete it first and then we are going to practice it, okay? It says, number one, David haven't seen those shoes before. Are they new? Yes, okay, so as you can see, we have numbers, right? One, two, three, and we have parentheses, just by, cost, B, right, in parentheses. So what I'm going to do is that uh, this is an audio, this is a listening. I'm going to play the conversation between David and Kate and try to check uh, the answers, right? I know it's going to be kind of fast, but uh, probably you will be able to complete it. Uh, if you don't complete it, I will play it again, okay? So let me play it right now. I think it's here. It's 7.50, okay. One point thirty-five. Are you able to hear? Yes. 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 Yeah. Okay, perfect. So yes. 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 Okay, after that, uh, we are going to practice it, okay? So no worries. Let me see here. Mm 
1.41. I haven't seen those shoes before. Are they new? Yes, I just bought them. Do you like them? They're okay. How much did they cost? Oh, not much. They were a bargain, under a hundred dollars. You mean ninety nine ninety nine? That isn't cheap for a pair of shoes. Anyway, we can't afford to buy new clothes right now. Why not? Have you seen this? No. What is it? The phone bill. It came this morning, and we haven't paid the electricity bill yet. Well, what about the iPad you bought last week? What about it? You didn't need a new one. The old one worked just fine. But I needed the new model. Well, I needed some new shoes. Very good. Did you notice the the different tenses, or do you want me to play it again? Play again. Play it again. Okay. Again. Try to check it. Okay. Try to check it. Let's see. One point forty-one. I haven't seen those shoes before. Are they new? Yes, I just bought them. Do you like them? They're okay. How much did they cost? Oh, not much. They were a bargain, under a hundred dollars. You mean ninety nine ninety nine? That isn't cheap for a pair of shoes. Anyway, we can't afford to buy new clothes right now. Why not? Have you seen this? No. What is it? The phone bill. It came this morning, and we haven't paid the electricity bill yet. Well. What about the iPad you bought last week? What about it? You didn't need a new one. The old one worked just fine. But I needed the new model. Well, I needed some new shoes. Okay. Did you have the responses? Or do you need a, a last time? Last time. Uh, last time okay remember it is just present perfect or simple past okay only that and you have the options there so i will play the last time and then we are going to solve it 1.41 i haven't seen those shoes before are they new yes i just bought them do you like them they're okay how much did they cost oh not much they were a bargain under a hundred dollars you mean ninety nine ninety nine? That isn't cheap for a pair of shoes. Anyway, we can't afford to buy new clothes right now. Why not? Have you seen this? No. What is it? The phone bill. It came this morning, and we haven't paid the electricity bill yet. Well, what about the iPad you bought last week? What about it? You didn't need a new one. The old one worked just fine. But I needed the new model. Well, I needed some new shoes. Okay, perfect. Now we are going to check it. Okay, so uh, the first one, it's I haven't, right? I haven't seen those shoes before. Are they new? Yes, I. No, just bought. I, I just, just bought. Just bought. Exactly. I just bought them. Do you like them? They are okay. How much did they cost? Did they cost? Did Very they good. cost? Very good. Did they cost? Oh, not much. They yeah. they what? They have been or they were? They were. They were exactly. They were a bargain. Under a hundred dollars, you mean nineteen ninety nine? I'm sorry, ninety nine ninety nine. That isn't cheap for a pair of shoes. Anyway, we can't afford to buy any clothes right now. Why not? Have you seen this? Have you Very seen? Good. Very good. Have you seen this? No. What is it? The phone bill. It. Um, it came. It came, very good, it came this morning. And we? We have not paid. We have not paid the electricity bill yet, very good. Well, that, what about the iPad you? Bought. 
bought exactly you bought last week what about it you you don't need it you didn't need a new one very good very good you didn't need a new one the old one the old one has worked or worked has worked has worked okay let's see and it says just fine but i i need in the new I, model i needed the new model well i need it needed some new yeah. shoes very good so let's see it should be like this right completed right so as you can see, is uh, complete here. I haven't seen those shoes before. Are they new? Bought them. How much did they cost? Were a bargain. Um, we can afford buy new clothes. Why not? Have you seen this? No, what it is? It came this morning and we haven't paid the electricity bill yet. Uh, what about the iPad you bought, right? Bought last week. What about it? You didn't need a new one. The old one worked just fine, but I needed the new model. Well, I needed some new shoes. Perfect. So in the previous week, we have uh, practiced the pronunciation, right? For uh, verbs, regular verbs in uh, ED, right? We remember that they have they have a different pronunciation, right? Uh, the ones ending in D or T, ED, right? Needed, wanted, the other one that are voiced uh, and voiceless, right? Voice, they they vibrate and it's like a D at the end. And voiceless, they don't vibrate and it's like a T at the end, right? So we are going to check that pronunciation right now. Uh, I need two volunteers, dos voluntarios para practicar la conversación. Me? Who said me? me? Rosa, Rosa Maria and Noel. Okay. So Rosa Maria, you will be Kate and Noel, you will be David. Are you ready? Yes. Ready. Okay. Ready. Go ahead, please. I haven't seen those shoes before. Are they new? Yes. I just bought them. Do you like them? They are okay. How much didn't they cost? Oh, uh, not much. They were a bargain under $100. Do you mean 90, 90, 90, 90? That isn't cheap for a pair of shoes. Anyway, we can afford to buy new clothes right now. Why not? Have you seen this? No. What is it? The phone bill. It came this morning and we haven't paid the electricity bill yet. Well, what about the the iPad you bought last week? What about it? You didn't need a new one. The old one worked just fine. But I needed the new model. Well, I needed some new shoes. <laughs> very okay. good very good perfect perfect pr pronunciation uh noel how do you say 99 in english 99 99 perfect exactly 99 99 perfect uh what is the meaning of bargain they were a bargain what is that bargain they were a bargain under a hundred dollars Bargain, regatear, is that correct? Maybe um, una promoción. Exactly, una promoción. They were a bargain, right? Very good. Una they were like, they were in, in with discount. Regatear, regatear would be uh, also bargain, but bargain will be the verb, right? The verb, to bargain. To bargain is regatear, exactly, very good. Let's see, other two people, the last two, las últimas dos. I have a question, teacher. 
<clears throat> yes, Leo. In the third uh, sentence, there is a they uh, are, okay, they are. They are. Or is a confusion or is a something that is not, they are. They are. Uh, it's, no, it's a mistake because here, as you can see, is their yeah. their care their care okay. right there? Okay. Uh, it's a mistake there. Something happened okay. there. Okay, uh, so I need two volunteers to practice again the conversation the last time, please. Only two people. Alguien que no haya participado. Me. Okay. Mercy and. Jose Jovito. Okay, very good. So, Mercy, you will be David, and Jose, you will be Kate. Go ahead, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, I haven't seen those shoes before. Are they new? Yes, I just bought them. Do you love them? They are okay. How much did they cost? Oh, not much. They were a uh, bargain under 100. You mean 1999? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 99, 99, yeah, 99, 99. Yeah, 99 dollars, 99 cents. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That is a ship for a page of shoes. Anyway, can we afford a... Uh, we can't afford to buy new clothes right now. Why now? Have you seen this? No. What is it? The phone bill. It came this morning and we haven't paid the electricity bill yet. Well. What about the iPod we just bought last week? What about it? You didn't need a new one. The old one worked just fine. But I needed the new model. Well, I needed some new shoes. Okay, very good. Perfect, perfect. I needed new uh, the new model. I needed some new shoes. Very good. What is the meaning of afford when they say it anyway, we can't afford to buy new clothes right now? I don't have the enough money to spend. Yes, or... to spend on that, right? Exactly. I don't have the enough money. I can't afford. Exactly. Perfect. Very good. A uh, suggestion, right? Uh, for questions, remember that the intonation changes, right? Are they new? Do you like them? How much they cost? Why not? Have you seen this? No. What is it? What about it? Uh, what about the iPad you bought last week, right? So remember that questions, the intonation changes, right? Intonation. So be careful with that. Uh, practice that if you have problems with, with it. Okay. Now uh, to finish, we are going, uh, let's see here. Uh, we are going to to have uh, this tomorrow. This will be like, have you ever, right? Like speaking. We are going to ask questions. So tomorrow, if you come to the class, uh, try to have a very good connection with the internet and also try to uh, have a microphone, right? To speak. If you uh, are not allowed to speak because you are driving or you are, I don't know, in your job or something like that, um let me know before the class because this will, this will be the first set, uh, activity that we are going to do tomorrow and we are going to use uh the present perfect and the simple past but today we are, we are just checking the pronunciation so we are going to read about this and then we are going to check if we have understood the reading so uh we are going to read the man who quit money the first paragraph will be from in the first year until walked away. So I need a volunteer to read the, the first paragraph, please. Me, teacher. Okay, I'll you go ahead. And then Rosa Maria, please. In the first year of the 
to the 21st century, a man is standing by a busy road in the middle of the United States, took his life saving out his pocket $30, lay it inside a phone booth and walk away and walked away. Very good, walked away. Rosa Maria, read the next paragraph until doing, please. He was, he was 30, 90 years, 90 years old, come from a good family and had been to college. He was not merely ill, nor did he have any problems with drugs, or, al or alcohol. The decision was made by a man, I mean, who knew exact exactly what they was doing. Okay, thank you. Rosa Maria, choose someone else. Escoja alguien más, Rosa Maria. Okay. Let me see. Nate Davis. Nady, okay, read from in the 12 years until government. Um, in the 12 years cycle at the stock market has risen and fallen. Daniel Suaro has not earned to sell or spin a single dollar. And an era when anyone you call sign his name called it a uh, mortgage. 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 Uh -huh. mortgage. Swell did not apply, apply, apply for loans. Apply for loans uh -huh. as public. They have trials to eight, then and finally thirteen trillion dollars. He did not pay taxes, mm -hmm. ta taxes or accept any type of help from the government. Okay, uh, Nady, choose someone else. Escoja alguien más, Nady. Yes. Zulma uh, Matrix. Zulma. Okay, Zulma. Uh, Read until from still instead until ID card. Okay. And still he he went to la, to live in a cave in Utah where he picks fruits and wild onion, collects animal that have been uh, killed, killed, killed on the rule, killed, killed on the rule, take um, all food that's gone past its sell by that. Sell by date, uh huh. Uh, sell by date out of trash can and is often with the friend and strange. My philosophy is to use only what it's freely given on this card. He writes um, why the rest of you try to deal with taxes, mortgage, retirement plans, and bank accounts, suelo no longer Evan Hat and ID cars. Very good. Uh, choose someone else. Sulma. Okay. Uh, Jose Jovito. Okay, Jose Jovito. Read from Daniel. It's not a typical Trump until library. Okay, library. I don't. Ah, okay, okay, library. Okay. Danny, Daniel is not typical crime. He often work, but refused to be paid. After all, he laughed in kill. 
he's extremely social, pre made close to friends and family, and has discussion with the train on his website with his chief and the local library. Okay, Jose Jovito, choose the last one, please. Okay, Claudia Marcela. Claudia Marcela, read the rest of the reading, please. Okay. Yes. From He Has Written. Okay, he has written his bike long distance, traveled on French trains. Mm -hmm. uh, he hiked through mm -hmm. nearly every state in the United States, worked on a fishing boat, collected mussels from Pacific beaches, caught salmon in streams in Alaska, and spent three months living in a tree after a storm. I know it's possible to live with zero money, Suelo, Suelo declares, and he says you can live well. Okay, very good, perfect. Now, uh, do you have any question about any any word, new word? Preguntas de nuevo vocabulario? Sorry? Suelo is a name. Suelo is a name, right? Right, exactly. That is his name. His name, Suelo. Daniel Suelo. That is his name. Okay. Hitchhiked. Hitchhiked. Uh, hitchhiked. Hitchhike is like, how do you say that in Spanish? Uh, right. Went, right. Exactly. right. Hitchhiked. Exactly. Another one? Try, try train, try train. Freight trains, like travel right. on freight trains. Freight trains is a train that they have food, they have, I don't know, materials, right? Trenes de carga, right? Freight yeah. trains. Mm -hmm. Any other? What is sell by date? What is the meaning of that? It says fecha de vencimiento, caducidad. Very good, very good, Suma. Fecha de caducidad, sell by date, like cuando la fecha de vencimiento. Very good. The food right has a sell by date. Very good. Any other question? How no? do you how do you translate the, the 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 title of the of the of the lesson the man who quit money the man oh, yeah. who quit money yeah the man who quit money el hombre que renunció al dinero actually that is the reading about right or what is what is it about the reading what what did you hear Eliu that was the reading about uh the 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 written is about is um, the about the man that has has been traveling all all all, all over the the into all all into the United States from Alaska mm -hmm. to several states and just uh, carrying with uh, thirty dollars in his uh, pocket and. Um, he lived, he ate, and he traveled without paying any money. Don't exactly. spending, do not spending his money. Um, exactly. So he left everything, right? He left the money, he left the house, only $30 in his pocket. Do you yeah. would you do that? Would you do that, Ilyu? Or have you <laughs> no. thought about that? No, right? No, no. No, yeah. I, I I don't like that kind of um, 
Ab adventure. <laughs> <laughs> like that kind of adventure. Yes, exactly. It's kind of, it's not that easy, right? But it has pros and cons, exactly. But actually, that was the reading about. It was about a, a man who quit everything and he didn't have anything, like even an ID card, right? It says there. Uh, so he lived in a cave. He, he did different things. Um, but probably sometimes, probably that we should go uh, or do something similar, not probably that, but but something something similar to to know that we are part of, of nature, right? You know, probably have a different point of view about, about money, right? But yeah, I think it's interesting. It's a book actually, and and probably uh, he describes uh, a lot of things that he did in this book. So very good. Actually, that was the reading about. Uh, if you have more questions about the reading on any uh, new word, let me know. And tomorrow we are going to continue, right? With the simple past and the section two. I don't know if you have any question right now, any doubt, preguntas? Sure. Yes. Uh, this book is like a book named Into the Wild. Into the Wild, I don't know actually. I'm going to look for it because that, that's a book, right? Also, that was a book. Yes, very good. Yes, it's something similar in the story, something similar, exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But um, I don't know if it is the same story. I, I don't think so, but I, I will I will check. Okay. Okay, check very it. good. So I will I will see you tomorrow and thank you for being here. Thank you for your effort and have a nice evening, okay? See ya. Good evening. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night.